is something about economy. Now, let us try, uh, write down some mathematical statements and then we will see. 2 is equal to 2. 4 is less than or equal to 4. 5 is equal to 22 divided by 7. These are all well defined mathematical statements. The first one is true, second one is also true, the third one is this is true, this is true, this is false because pi is an irrational number and so cannot be equal to a rational number, cannot be equal to a fraction of two integers. Now, but what about usefulness or efficiency? You see, 2 equal to 2 is true, but it's not very useful. Okay, 2 is equal to 2, that is fine, but uh, where will it be used? Where will you use it, that 2 is equal to 2? Probably nowhere. 4 is less than or equal to 4, this is also true. And it's also not very useful, but at the same time, it's not very efficient also. A stronger statement is 4 is equal to 4. Because we really know that 4 is equal to 4, we do not have to be so vague that 4 is less than or equal to 4. So this is more, um, this is stronger, although less useful, still less useful. The curious thing about the third statement is that although it is false, but it is useful. How? Because this is a first approximation to pi. This is equal to 3.14. Now the actual value of pi, of course, we cannot write it down since it's irrational, but some few digits. 3.141592653, something like that. So, this rational number matches with the first two decimal digits of pi and, and along with the, this integer part also. Okay, so this is a first good approximation. Now, in some situations, in fact, you come across some problems in school level where you use this value of pi. This is not a value of pi. This is not equal to pi. But it is close to pi. Although it's a very crude approximate value that is close to pi, but it gets the job done. So although this statement is false, it is still useful. And in, when we apply mathematics in science, this is most often the case, surprisingly. In science, most of the things are approximations. They are not absolutely perfectly true things, but they are approximation. approximations. Nonetheless, they are useful. Now, when we are doing mathematics, we are not really concerned about usefulness or efficiency, but we are concerned only about truth. Keep that in mind. So because of this, some things like this may seem foolish or dumb, but they will appear. Now, although this is useless, this is pretty useless. In fact, in mathematics itself, it is pretty useless. Something is equal to itself. Where can you possibly use this fact? But when we get some steps, where we have simple statements like this, which are true, the end conclusion may be something non-trivial. Okay, the steps themselves or the individual statements themselves may look like this. Something very, very minimal, something simple, but ultimately we will arrive at a conclusion that is not at all obvious and highly non-trivial and interesting. See, mathematics is about truth and we, we want to know what is true and that because it interests us. Usefulness is 
useful in applying mathematics. And efficiency, of course, it is something else entirely. So we are concerned about truth. Now, having said these things about uh, mathematical statements, in fact, mathematical statements also have in them something else, that is, mathematical expressions. A mathematical expression is not a mathematical statement. For example, it is also a combination of some mathematical objects and relations. For example, 2 times 3 plus 5. This is a mathematical expression, not a mathematical statement. It does not make sense to ask whether this is true or false. No. It gives us a value. This is a mathematical statement and it is true. If I write this, this is still a mathematical statement but is false. So mathematical statement consists of mathematical expressions and some relations between them which look like this. Okay. Uh, we will come across them in due time. So just like mathematical statements, mathematical expressions can also be well-defined or ill-defined. For example, this is a mathematical expression which is ill-defined. So a mathematical statement must consist of only 